He don't need me. I'm going to tell him where to stop anyway. He's a good backer up. Look at those tires. They look great. Yeah, about. Yeah. Keep coming. Keep coming. Moan back. That's good right there. So you got a shady spot. We can start here, and then a little bit later, the shade will be there. Perfect. Okay, you bring me something. Nuts. Oh, nuts! What business you in, Saul? <laughs> you ever? You, you know what I'm talking about? You've seen it. You just don't remember it. What? In in the original Willy Wonka in the cho uh, Chocolate Factory uh -huh. with Gene Wilder. Uh huh. One of the one of the girls, uh, the, the one of the, the the real bratty little girl. Uh huh. His 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 name is oh no thanks I just ate. His name is Saul. And so uh, Gene Wilder says, what business you in, Saul? And he goes, Nuts! Nuts! <laughs> I've seen the Johnny Depp version. I don't even know if I've seen the original. Yeah, the originals, uh, I'm sure. It's worth watching both of them. So, so but, you know, the old production technique. So, Well, was I on video backing her in? Cause yeah. Because I didn't do too bad. You, I know. I, I was mentioning how, how good you were at it and what nice tires you got there. And uh, your GMC's not as good as mine, you know. No, nowhere near. <laughs> that's our kind of running. I'd love to trade. That's Any our that's guy. our running gag. And mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, uh, what is this? Beamtrailers.com. Well, I, not a sponsor. So do you have what symptoms? Do you, we're gonna, what we're going to do is the. No, there's the symptoms are at sat. Oh, for and it sat on dirt. Of time. Okay. In dirt in the moisture. Did you notice any bouncy bouncy on the? The tire's being too Well, flat. here's the thing. When it's not loaded down, this trailer kind of do that. It does that anyway. I mean, it's heavy enough that it's not like the yard trailer by no means. That, yeah. That, that, that you know, rides. Oh, uh, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. But um, a little bit, but we can just check the bearings. Okay, show me, show show me show everything. Me place. I got to give it to you. Yeah, show me everything. You... Somebody had a fire. Let me guess Sean was out here. Oh, no, no. That's uh, my burn pile. There's two burn piles. That burn pile's for no metal. And then there's one out there for metal. If you got, if you think there's any metal in it, okay. Uh, so you won't run over it. But I just feel better having a fire a little closer in. It's kind of warm. Yeah, I know. It's going to be warmer cool. tomorrow. It's going to be like 80 degrees. Yeah, just don't remind me. Okay, so you had something get loose in here, and well, I think what truly happened was. Do you remember the going over to Mitchell's house and on my old F-150 fixing that starter? Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. That house down on Davidson Road. Yeah, almost, we almost bought that house. But that guy... I'm the, glad you didn't, because it's a weird house. I didn't... Well, I'm Hopefully, weird. Do, I'm, not, I'm a real estate agent. None, none of that is like or subscribe. Do yeah. not worry about don't that worry comment. About that. Yeah, don't worry about that, yeah. <laughs> you did not hear that yeah, comment. What comment? I don't know about uh, that comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, that house... Uh, the Oh, right there? Yeah. Oh, little Bondo fix that up. Yeah, that's why I, I, I didn't think we'd want to deal with the no, replacing this whole sheet. No. Like that. But oh, sheet, no. It's either been a, a brake lever off a bike. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's leaned over. Yeah, you gouged into it. Which easily could have happened one day, and my dad just didn't tell me. Well, I expected this to be far worse from your description. No. And then we can work on, work on the warped door a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. This has been a problem. Is it, I it's fixed gonna it kinda. be an on You took a little hammer to it, which we can do again. I took a great big axe and pow, pow, pow. Pow, pow, pow. And uh, yeah, and I got but it kind of straightened out. Here is. I just kind of want to go around and see how we've caulked this. Just make sure everything's good. I need to go by Golden Gate and buy some of these like little flares. What are those little reflectors? Well, uh, if I had one, flares. Had, they're little reflectors. If I had one that had fallen off. They're just little reflectors. They're not like they light up or anything like that. They're just, oh, like, they're just little reflectors. reflectors. Okay, okay. Oh, we can probably get that at Allied Bearing today. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Now, you got your parking brake on and then parking yes, on. So, okay, so we're going to take this thing up and put it on jack stands. Okay. And then pull, take the other side up and pull bo both wheels off and look at the bearings and all that stuff. And okay. I, I have to be out of here by 5. So, or about. So, I've got I've got four hours. So that ought to be enough. Okay, I didn't. I gave you the afternoon because I was was requested to leave this morning. I went, mean, not a chance. John's coming. <laughs> yeah. All okay, right. everybody. This is a buddy bearing. Uh, John was just playing with my lariat. <laughs>
Okay, and you remember how to zoom in? I'll figure it's, it it's, out. It's, it's, it's that little handle right there. So, this is a buddy bearing, and uh, uh, it's to show my face. So, what we got here is you take off that cap and that circlip, and then the spring, and in the back there is your uh, little uh, zerk fitting. And when you put grease in it, and the, you use these on if you live on the water, you will find there's a hole right here. So when you get it full of grease, which it wasn't, John, and uh, it'll squirt out at you and tell you you're full. Well, I remember the person who helped me repack these bearings. Yeah. And then you got to get this tube off because you can't get to the circlip any other way. So, noise alert. And use a brass mallet. That's, that's an old Thor. What a great name for a hammer company, huh? There you go. There it is. And then you got to clean all this stuff up. We'll clean it, put, maybe put it in the ultrasonic. And then you can get to this. And I got a whole boatload of, of uh, split pins. This is not a cotter pin, right, John? Right. What's a cotter pin? This is a split pin. I know Americans call them cotter, cotter pins, but they're not. If you want to see a cotter pin, I'll show cotter you one. Cotter pins, the one in my trailer ball. Head, right? Yeah, like that. Yeah, they're a uh, they're they're a solid pin with a taper. Correct. And you will see them in old front ends of cars. The Healy has uh, cotter pins. This is not one of those, but everybody knows what you mean when you say it. Then you kind of. This is always kind of the worst part of this getting, getting that off, and it's down here. So what I generally do is you get this as straight as you can, and then uh, you can give her a little love tap there, and that'll, that'll she'll move on you there. But what I do a lot of times is I just use this and just sort of try to pull it on through, but. Sometimes they're they're pretty they're pretty grumpy, so this may call for some. Uh, uh, this may call for some. Uh, did you notice I didn't say anything bad? No, Sean isn't here. Don't worry. I know Sean makes up for all of us. <laughs> we may have to go get some vice grips. Let's go get some vice grips. Now the on off button is that little one with the yellow right there. Rolling tape. Okay, you hit the little red circle. Okay, cool. I see the red light. Okay, so now, and then you. Uh, you're not talking to jerk, you know. Okay, I love saying that. I have to show you. Did I ever see it, show you the Andy Griffith where that's from? Yes. Okay, you did see that. As long you as you've seen it. Quote. It droppeth as a gentle rains from heaven. <laughs> from the merchant of Venice. Okay, so. All right. And uh, now I'm going to get the right size on this. You don't want to just go putting vice grips on these things. So one in 15, 30 seconds. Give me a break. How about 37, 38 millimeters? Okay. You can stop it. Okay. Okay. All right. So generally, all you have to do is this is a one and a half, and it's, since it's a multi bit, all you gotta do is sort of loosen it like that. Then you can. Ooh, blowing dirt everywhere. See, it just comes right off. We're not gonna worry about that because we're gonna clean all this stuff. This is why I leave the water so hot in the. We're gonna keep that so we can size it. going now you should find there's a ring right there and sometimes they're notched sometimes they aren't usually when they're on the inside well that, that's blowing a lot of dirt in my face uh, every time I no wind today unless I go outside Okay, then all you gotta do now is just this. Okay, let's see what these are.
Mm. Once, oh, yeah, see what I mean? Kind of blowing dirt everywhere. So then you take this hub on off, and there'll be a space seal back there. And then, uh, I don't care. Ooh, kind of nasty back there. So the thing is, it's just been sitting a long time. And on the moist, on the moist, moist ground. So, uh, where did I put all my other tools? I had, oh, there it is, okay. So whenever you go get bearings, don't forget to take the seal with you and, uh, and try to preserve it best you can. If you can get the numbers off of them, get them off before you start hammering. Okay, so, but we're not, I don't see that as a problem. I might need to put this in the vise. Okay, we have to put this in the vise, but you, uh, y'all get the premise. Yeah, y'all get, well, she's moving on me. You gotta be a little careful right here, gang. You don't want to fracture that. It's possible that I'm going to do it. I didn't think that would be in there so hard. Well, we might have to rethink this. Uh, maybe let's do it like that. Maybe I can get it to, if I can get it to release just a little bit. Well, uh, heh <laughs> Okay. Those are generally not in there that hard. Okay, we're gonna have to stop tape. Oops, wait, uh -oh. Well, this is very surprising to me. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work down there. Why do I not I remember doing this? Try this one. Dang. That's it. Don't give up. It's like we're going to Allied. Yeah. <laughs> I think like we're about the point of no return. Yeah, I'm going to Allied. There. I think we're there. <laughs> and uh, here's your inner, inner bearing. bearing. And uh, before you go anywhere, you clean all that stuff up. Don't hand stuff like that to parts guys. It may, it may cost you. So... Yeah, let's just, let's, we've gone to all this trouble. Let's just get new ones. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I can see it now. Say, all right, go for it. Say, focus, you fack. Focus, you fack. <laughs> I'm not going to be like Sean. No, that's a AVE. See, look at the little burn spot there. And so, uh, we're going anyway. I was just asking how, if you could tell us in good condition or bad condition. I'm pretty ignorant when it comes to yeah, stuff I would, like this. I would give this a, a time. About a 10. Yeah, i give that a change it right there. Fail. Yeah, so get yourself a mm -hmm. cent, uh, you Cento tomatoes. Don't use any other brand. And uh, trust me on this, I'm a master chef, right, John? Yes, sir. What's, that, what's the only time in your life you've ever had decoys? With you? Uh, after I made decoys. I've never heard of decoys until I met you. <laughs> but There are people fighting over that stuff. It takes all day to make it. Let's see if we can... So you know what... Uh, I see a number there on the plastic. We'll take it. I think we'll be fine. I think this is pretty common stuff. And uh, so, okay, and then that goes in the can. And then okay. uh, we've got to shut down and grab your other bearing. Wherever I put it, where did I put it? Oh, right here. Right here. Yeah. And like I said, see how I, that one looks. See if there's any. Yeah, let's marks on take that. a look at that. It just, I don't know if. It's not scraping off with my thumbnail, so I just think they got hot. Let's take a look at the stub. And don't worry, we're gonna clean this stuff real good. That's catching it's my thumb. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think it's okay. It that's okay. Yeah. So when now there's another story too. Uh, when you get bearings, now you gotta uh, also get. Make sure you get the races. And. Uh, Was, but it's okay. Them. Make sure you've got them babies right there. I don't know, it's a whatever, I don't know what part number it is. Whatever. But, but bearing I'm race installer kit, you know, you'll find them all. Oh, there you go. Pro performance tool. And you really need these, and you can tell by the sound when you get them in there. But knocking them out is generally not a big thing, but we're going to go right to make sure we can get these. Ended up being somewhat of a McGill, but not too bad. Uh, it was easy and then hard. Let's put it like that. Everything was breezing along like a breeze, and we found well, this. But we only found one of those, so the poor schlub had to uh, get the other parts and uh, here individually. And, well, there you go. There's your reflectors. Double tape. Yeah, I imagine they're built in there. So, uh, you know, six, it don't matter what they're because you're. This is all common trailer stuff, but this looked like this looked like the cat's meow here. And uh, okay, so let's uh, let's clean up and I'll start putting this together. And I've got to get the grease now. When it comes to grease, I got this big tub up here. That's brake lubricant. We're not going to use that. You got to like a guy that's got fluid film and croidal. Okay, and so I got this big tub of grease right there. And I got a grease gun. We got to get a grease gun. I'll show you how buddy bearings work too. Y'all know how to pack bearings. You spread it on your palm and do all that stuff. Oops. Why does this happen to me? Uh, let me get my grease gun over here. So, I got an extra can of it too. That thing's full. That's good. This is marine quality uh, Lucas grease. Okay. Okay. Well, it says one second year. We're tape. We're good. Okay. So what we got here is we're gonna knock these races out, and this this is what they a rim blower. Like I just it it just has rims. It doesn't have the little notch in there, but these still gotta go because we learned that those bearings that came out of it were Chinese. And so these are probably two. Add Sean, Chinesium, and, gotta get it gone. Yeah, and they, they look fair, but the other thing that everybody needs to know, and you need to know this too, John, is that you have to get, there can be one bearing in different races and they can be different angles. And it'll give you a false positive. So whenever you get a bearing, always get a race. So, uh, so come over here, everybody. I don't know if your ears are going to be able to take this, but uh, I know mine aren't. So you got to get you one of these. And uh, let me clean my hands off. Just let it keep rolling. And I got this 100-year-old uh, hammer. Yeah, you, and uh, you got to kind of, you got to catch that thing right to get back off of that. Back off! And you'll feel it let go. You, they don't have to see. Okay. I mean, I, but let, let, keep taping. I'm trying not to get your face in it. Yeah, okay, all right, well, that's good. Just keep taping. Okay. Might have to go over to the grinder. Well, I got that one. All right, stop. I gotta take it to the. Okay. 
So I made myself a little grabby point here that I hope will work. Yep. got more now keep the camera a little bit down here you get you hit it a little better it's hard getting it started okay it's gonna fall out any second now See, I told you. <clears throat> and that's a bearing race. And so you got to do that on the other side. And then, okay, you see how it's done? See, you can cut there. Roll and take. Roll take. Okay, now this is the split pin that came with the kit. And it goes, this is one of those kind of off-center kind of things. Look at that. And this is this came out of my kit over there and see that's what you want look at the difference oh in them things the whip. yeah this thing's twice as thick so I, that's not junk I mean I'm gonna put it in my kit but luckily go over there and look underneath WD-40 get yourself get yourself one of these kits they're not expensive and see if you, there you go saves the day <laughs> know somebody who has a kit like it okay. Now you got to be careful about this. You don't want to put that in backwards because that'd be a real pain. <laughs> you, you wouldn't want that. Honestly, probably for for me and novices, it'd be easy. That's something you need to pay attention to. Yeah, you got to pay attention to that. Yeah. Oh, that's not. Where did I put that? Where did I put that crazy kit? Here it is. So you got to have this thing. And, uh,. The hard part here is getting it started, and uh, let's see if I get it the first time. Got it first time. Say, it's not too hard. And then you got, uh... yeah, you end up cussing yourself because if you put it in wrong, this thing kind of keeps you from doing it. Uh, then you've destroyed it, taking it out. You have to go get another one. So when it comes to starting this, uh... I usually will uh, try, try, mind you, to, uh, oh, look at that, that's going to be cool. See, I have a piece of wood designed just to do that. Isn't that cool? Don't you wish you yeah. had that? <laughs> Actually, that was from another project unrelated to this in any way. So, calls for them all, and you don't want to, you want to try to get it flat as you can. Don't hit the race directly with a hammer. You can see it'll start out on you a little squirrely. And that's probably good enough for me to start here. I'm a little bit off, but just kind of... There you go. See, it'll pop. See how even it is now? And then you just take this, and you'll notice the noise will change. You can tell it's seated by the noise. Okay. And that's why you got to have that groove in there real clean so you can listen for that noise. Okay. We'll do just, you can, we'll do, it's up to you. So here's your, your new bearing. And this is what you do if you hadn't seen it before. You got to do this. Just do this barehanded. Do, don't use gloves doing this because you can't tell if the grease has grit in it. See, there's a reason for everything. And then you just nip it, nip it, nip it. And you know you're doing good when it comes out of the top. The girl from Infinema, all right. See the grease coming out of the top there? And once you see it coming out of the top, 
UI. And you hear the bearing stop rattling. You just gotta have to learn this trick. There's just no other way to. Can you overpack the house? Uh, nope, you can only get as much as it'll hold. Oh, yeah. You can put too much grease in a hub. And that's another school of thought. In between the bearings, they, uh, they talk about you don't put much grease in that void. Okay, you don't have to put much grease in that void, but the grease tends to migrate great toward the back, uh, toward the back bearing. Uh, so the front bearing can become rather dry, and that's why we have buddy bearings. So anyway, another thrilling YouTube video of packing bearings. But wash your hands real good, and then you can just get all that stuff. And if you don't do this, you're going to cut about 50% of the life off the bearing. Now see, no more noise. And then you can just take that and you can just do that with it. And then you take a big glop of grease and you come over here. And you always, I always do the back one first because a lot of times it's very disappointing. You will forget to put the seal in and put it all together. You got to take it all, put the seal in it. So I always just run a little bit. The gob. The big gob. Great big gobs. Uh-oh. Wants me to turn. My phone wants me to turn. Okay, how about that? And then you just put that down in there. And you can tell. And you don't want much more grease than that. Because it's just going to come out. And there you go. And then you just, at this point, grease is not flammable, at least the kind I get. Make sure your grease is not flammable. Well, I had that discussion with my dad one time. Quit throwing oily rags away, they're gonna combust. It's not oil, it's grease. Grease doesn't burn. Well, I think I had fried bologna that night. Like any other night, I think they had T-bone steaks. And... Not China. Not China. It's, it's a national, which is good. And Mexico makes good stuff. Now, this thing goes in, in a particular way. Now, let me tell you a little secret right here. Before you forget, put a little grease right there or it'll burn up the rubber when you put it in. Just get a little bit of grease and put right there. Now, if I had time, I would have okay. cleaned the whole thing, but I don't think we need to do that. This, once again, is one of those moments where you don't, you don't want to be uneven. And it's hard to start them sometimes. And sometimes they'll get a little crooked on you. And that, see, that'll make it dance out of there. I, did, I should have mentioned that. Let's get something a little heavier. I don't want to use, I guess, I don't want to use them all. This is just something you got to get used to. Well, now we know why the other one's so damn hard to get out. Yeah. I'm going to go directly to, uh, to a hammer here. Okay. I don't, boy, that is just not good. I might go to the grinder and knock that paint off. Whoa! Well, I think we're Crazy. exactly well, right you about... You put two fingers on it and you yeah. put... I mean, crush my finger or something? No, goodness, no. I don't want no use of that. I think it would go in. Damn. You meant to say consarn it. loose all the time, don't it? Okay. Thought I had it that time. That might be it. Okay, so when you get it to there, which took a little while, I'll edit all that out of there. Now 
and you'll once again hear the metal change because you know you're flat. So listen for the ring. Oops. Fell off, can't hurt us anymore. And you'll start splattering grease everywhere. Ding, 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 ding. I got you now. Now you know. Yeah. Okay, next footage will be us slipping it onto the stub axle. So you can cut. <laughs> I mean, I would rather, you know, I'd rather you not have to you know, hang around. Now the other thing to do, are we rolling yet? Yeah. The other thing to do is come around here, get you some good uh, 30 weight motor oil and oil all this stuff that in between the springs. Well, what we can and, do uh, is leave the wheel and tire off and I can do that. Or yeah, I wanna, I'm gonna at least slip the tire on it okay. so when you pull off. And then I'm gonna put my tractor on the ball. Oh so, yeah, 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 you'd move it out of the way. Okay, and then you just sorta. Of, There you go. Here it is. And then you, that bearing, that's normal. That's going to come out. And I'm going to show you all how to do this start to finish, okay? So uh, you put, this will have sometimes a bevel to it right there. It doesn't really matter. So you do that. And then you, I blew all this stuff out. I'm going to, it's got wood dust on it because the wind's coming through the barn. It's not grit grit it's wood but it still needs to be cleaned off now I'm going to show you the trick here of how this works and I figured out that it was somewhere in the vicinity of one and a half see that's just wood and then you get it as tight with your fingers as you can and then what you do is watch you watch cam back there you go you, you go tight and you seat everything and you'll see the hub won't move very much and then you got to back off a little bit. I started doing this when I worked on bikes. And you back off, and that's still too tight. Too loose on this and too tight is, is good. So I still can't move it with my fingers. So if you can move it with your fingers. Too loose. You're, you're, well, no, you're really almost there. Really? Okay. Yeah. Taper roller bearings are not now. The only I have a couple of vehicles that have ball bearings. I'm gonna have to sit down. Here, yeah, just uh, no. I'm gonna sit down on the ground. Okay. Okay. So that I, now the grease is gonna give you some resistance. So I would say just literally somewhere in that vicinity is good. I know that doesn't that seems kind of apathetic to you, but it's true. Uh, so then we're gonna try to. You don't want to go too tight. And see, this is going to determine what happens to you anyway. Because you got to get that in there. So see, it seems to be relatively loose. Where's the... Let's go at it this way. Well, where did the hole go? You know what, I think uh, you might have to use that. Oh, no, you don't. Now, what, what happened tightness-wise? Okay, that's not bad. That's as good as you're going to get because one more crown castle is going to be uh, too tight and the other one's going to be too loose, so it's Goldilocks moment there. Oh, we split. That's okay. I'll take that. Is that what you want? Yeah, I'll take. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that's, look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful to me. You can see it coming out the other side there. So then you just get. I don't take very good care of my chisels, do I? Let's do it like this. I don't think we're fouling at all on that. Nope. Okay, three o'clock or so. Okay. Oh. Go. Choke up on your mallet a little bit. It's clear to see where it seats, and you should hear it also. Okay, that's completely seated, and. and 
the straw man says, oil can what? Now the odds of me getting underneath this thing and doing this is zero. But I can I can feel my way. Better than nothing. Yeah. Just lay it across the top. It'll get in there. Look, it's pretty dry. Soaked it up pretty good. And then you can just do this. And see it wicking it in there? Wow. And this will cut down on the... Put a little bit there too because there's one day where it might matter. It just It'll just wick it across the... The universe there. I learned this I was when I was changing oil in Belmont for Jimmy Gurner. He now lives somewhere else so I can talk about him. This old fella came in and he had this old car and he uh I had it up on the lift and I changed the oil and he he insisted on being there, God bless him. And uh, he said, Jimmy, give me that oil can. And you said, that's a waste of time. And he said, how do you know what I'm going to do? So you're going to oil up springs. Don't use my oil for that. And he said, well, I just won't come back anymore. And he's old, you old timer, you old codger, you old riddle sprung crummy joker. But I, I believe the old man. I believe Jimmy was always in a hurry because he was in business. You know, he's always trying to just get people out of his hair. And... Uh, but I do this every time I can. It just seems logical to me. You know, this is a weather horn sort of thing. That beat the hell out of you. All right, what do I get for all this? Maybe a thumbs up or something? Thumbs up. <laughs> like, subscribe. And then you can check Tune it Tune in again. for daily content. Yep. Who knows, there may be a bath tonight. You never know. Yeah. Now, I know that seems chalky. But it's okay. not. It's what it is. It's that rim hitting that cotter pin. Okay. But uh, yeah, that I think that's gonna be fine. Okay. Cause you saw it finger tight. Oh yeah. So we're just we're hitting that uh, little bit of that cotter key. Now uh, let's talk about that, and then we'll go. So you can, if you use this one, you probably have an easier time of it. But I think I'd rather have twice as metal to protect me. You know. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think I'd, I'd rather do what, deal, deal with what I dealt with. Why does it keep creaking? I think it's the sun going <laughs> It's nerve-wracking as hell. Okay, but anyway, uh, anyway, we're going to put the wheel back on. And that's going to be it. We're not going to do the other side because it's going to be just like this side. And I can't do it today anyway. i got to go cook lasagna. So, ling-a-ding-ding, -ding, right? <laughs> Try not to say too much about that on YouTube. All right, thanks for watching, we'll everybody. We'll cut there. That's the end of yeah, today's end video. Of the, end of the, end of the, yeah, <laughs> talk, to, talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, John came up and got the trailer. I did the other side and uh, got kind of busy with a bunch of other things, so he just headed on home. So imagine you seeing him pulling off there in his little red trailer, and uh, you have to imagine now. Oh, somebody's coming this way. Hmm. I wonder who that is. And, uh, it's pretty, isn't it? And, uh, he was another, another satisfied customer. Who the hell is that? Let's see where they're going. Huh? I ain't coming here. All right, so give me a thumbs up. A focused thumbs up. Come on, focus. There you go. Thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll talk to you on the next project. I got some new lug nuts in for the Spitfire, and uh, that's going to be a, a big McGill. But I'll figure it out. I don't think I'm going to talk about that because it's going to be a little bit kind of janky, My what I'm going to have to do, and I, I really just can't recommend anybody does it. Okay, good night.